Good morning and welcome back to Traveling Cat Photos. I'm Kat and if you've been watching our last few episodes, you know we are discovering the hidden parts of LA or at least the lesser known parts. So if this is your first time joining us, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Let me know if you've ever been to LA and what was your hidden treasure down below in the comments. Today, we're gonna head up to Pasadena to the Norton Simon Museum small regional museums, easy to distance, definitely important traveling in the times of COVID. And then we're going to head out to Echo Park. I've never been to Echo Park. This is going to be totally fun. And we're going to try out the swan boats. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's going to be a good time. So let's hit the road. Perry's joint in Pasadena because we're gonna hang out in the Pasadena area today and I picked up a couple of strays. Everybody say hi to Jason and Liz. Hi. Hello. And say hi to the fire department in behind. Yay! Woohoo! Woo All right, I'm gonna show you some pictures of our lunch because it looks like it's gonna be amazing. Apparently this is the place to go in the area for barbecue and for sandwiches. So check it out. Perry's joint is on Lincoln Avenue in Pasadena. They're open 10 to 5, except weekends. Saturdays only till 3, they're closed Sundays. It was amazing food and more than a few fire crews visited while we were there. So you can tell it's a great place to eat. The Norton Simon is closed Tuesday, Wednesday, open 12 to 5, and costs $15 for adults, $12 for seniors, 18 and under, and military are free. Sometimes I wake up before sunrise and I see her Seven with an innocent smiling at a cup of hot tea Training my mind not to remember the things that hurt me Do they yeah. feel like they got free? Do they ever say sorry? There are several notable artists at the Norton Simon. Degas is my favorite. So I was happy to see the special dark gallery for his work, including his chalk and charcoal art and this beautiful sculpture, Little Dancer. But my favorite painting was this one. So beautiful. The Norton Simon offers so much to see, including this gorgeous outdoor space that includes a lily pond and a cafe. So you can actually have lunch out here on the patio with this amazing view. Come baby, pop you. Of 
the pain You try again standing up after you fall So let it rain and leave it change Cause being brave is letting love win after all Hi there, coming at you real time to talk about that thumbnail and maybe the reason you're watching this video today. When we were headed to the Norton Simon, I was extremely excited to see it. I had heard all about the incredible art and the beautiful gardens. And as you saw, that was all true. Even when we arrived as a museum professional, I was welcomed in they give a uh, reciprocal for museum professionals so my ticket was free all was good and then very quickly afterwards we realized that even in rooms where there was station security extra security would follow us into a room this was kind of confirmed when three security followed harry into the restrooms after that it became a very depressing game of how long before extra security follows us into a room. One, two, three. Yep, about three, four seconds later after every time we went into a new room. So finally at one point we split up. I went to the gift shop. Harry went to another exhibition. Jason, Liz, and mom went to the gardens. And sure enough, like five seconds after I entered the gift shop, here comes an extra security person who just stands about five feet away from me doesn't do anything, doesn't go near any of the other guests that were in the shop, just me, and then leaves. Doesn't say anything to the cashier, nothing. So I decided to go find Jason and Liz who were in the bottom of the gardens, texted Harry, let him know where I had gone. And a couple of minutes later, he comes out a side door and comes down to where we are, to where we're standing and talking about the security and here comes an extra security guard past the posted security guard who was already in the gardens to stand about 10 feet away from us and do nothing. Didn't look at their watch, didn't pull out their phone, didn't talk to us, just stood there about 10 feet away for three or four minutes and then walked right back up the path and back in the doorway they came out of. That was kind of it for us. You know, we had been a bit overwhelmed um, and decided it was time to go. I mean, even after it bothered us enough that I sent an email to the Norton Simon to explain our experience and heard absolutely nothing back. So I don't know, this might not be your experience, but here at TCP, we try to bring you the good and the bad. And unfortunately that was our experience. Now, whether it was truly racial profiling or they were nervous about my camera equipment, we have no idea, but there you go. Um, have you ever had an experience like that? If you have, what did you do about it? Leave us a comment, let us know your experience. Um, we're just you know, trying to be helpful and give tips here. Um, if you found that helpful, go ahead and a thumbs up. You know, YouTube loves that. But fortunately, we then headed to Echo Park and to the Swan Boats, which was a lot of fun. So let's rejoin the video so I can show you that. All right, so here we are. We are at Echo Lake. So that's um, just a little north of Pasadena. It was very easy to get to freeway to freeway, and then you go through all sorts of little town streets, but it's a very pretty little park. What do you think? Tell me how it is paddling this boat. Grueling. <laughs> Back begging. I can't believe you do this to us. What about you, Harry? What's your view? Ditto. And yet Liz and I are back here enjoying life as the queens we are. Just need some champagne. Exactly, we forgot the champagne. What was wrong with us? No, it's cool. 
I'm not, I am not an ornithologist, so. She is. Coot or duck? That's a coot. Coot. Thank you. Old coot. Making so much progress, that dog going after the bird is <laughs> not going yes. quite as fast. How many but knots do you think we're making? Two people combined, we are almost at walking speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swan boat fees are eleven dollars for adults, six dollars for kids. You'll want to specify if you want separate boats because the large boats hold five. We really had a great time at the lake, although be warned that it can be a workout. In fact, Jason's watch counted it as his workout for the day. It's always fun to see how Google Maps will reroute you across town after 4 p.m. so you can avoid the freeways. You wander past great murals through warehouse districts, even over the L.A. River. Today was day four of seven of our explorations in LA. If you missed days one to three, you can click on the link to go back and check them out. Day five will find us in the hidden treasure of Descanso Gardens. But first we have a special Christmas surprise video coming up. So check back on Christmas Eve to watch our present to you. Go ahead and pop that subscribe button and that little bell next to it so you're notified whenever we post. And we'll see you next time.